The ABCA Video Tip of the Week is presented by Volleyball Training Solutions, an educational resource and interactive website for volleyball coaches, and brought to you by the ABCA. Welcome to the ABCA Video Tip of the Week here at the University of Notre Dame. We're going to focus a little bit today on blocking, specifically trying to double block a pinball that's set outside to either side. So some of our players are going to talk about what we have on the board. Our whole ice sequence isn't here, but some of the keys we try to work on. Thank Hi, you. I'm Marie Roof. I'm a senior right side middle blocker. And the first step to executing the correct double block is to adjust your blocking base to the play. To do this based on sequence, eye sequence and scouting, you can adjust your blocking base to Kiana Pacific hitter. Hi, I'm Andrea McHugh, a junior outside hitter. The second step to executing the correct double block is individually eliminating hitters from your blocking zone. So as an outside hitter, it's really important for me to eye sequence so that I can um, step out and kick out with the middle when she's hitting the loop. I'm Hillary Epping, senior middle blocker. The third step is adjusting your blocking base as you see the play developed. And this is um, especially key for non-swing blocking teams. And as a middle blocker, it's especially imperative that you adjust your blocking base so it'll allow you to kick out to either pin block over and press over. Hi, I'm Sam Brown, a junior middle blocker. The next step is that all blockers read the setter as she sets. When the setter shows an early tendency, such as arching her back, we'll release to the back nine pin. Hi, I'm Andy Olson, a junior middle blocker. The next step is, from a balanced athletic position, execute footwork to set the double block. Basically, you want to just have your knees and ankles bent, your arms up, and ready to move to either pin. Hi, I'm Jenny Hauser, a sophomore right side hitter, and the next step is to adjust the double block to front the hitter's path, and sometimes the middles get out to the pins early and leave a small hole which I step in and close. Hi, I'm Maggie Brindock, a junior setter. The final step is to keep your eyes on the hitter, jump and read the arm swing, and have four hands all together. Keep your eye on the hitter and focus on their arm swing. Now in a game situation, we're going to try to execute some of this and see if we can't get the double block to see the same thing and the hands to work together. Okay, what we're going to try to do here is uh, we're going to execute uh, a block on the outside. We have a middle coming in for a three. Marie Roof's going to drag to her first position so that she can have a block the three or easily get to the five. The key to this video is going to be when they close the block, hopefully they will, that they'll see the same things in either block line or angle depending on what the hitter's hitting. Marie dragged to her spot, she sees the middle, sees a five, they moved it inside, the ball died inside, Maggie stopped it. That's good. Let's do that again and try to block down, that looked good right there. So Meg, that's a good hit, Maggie will turn that one back inside. So Marie, our middle blocker, moves from her base, gets out to the five, Maggie sees the hitter early. There you go. That's kind of what we want there. Maggie called inside as outside blocker. Marie stopped. Maggie pushed straight over and reclosed the seam. Good. Block that ball. Do that again, Maggie. So on that block, Maggie saw that she's going angle. Maggie had the seam as the pin blocker with her left hand, and Marie was able to push straight over, jump back in. We'll see how they do here again. Right, here we go. So, so that's our backside on the slide. Tony saw it, kicked out early. It was able to have Hillary come and block all the way next to her. And then she. Tony kicks early, Hill closes the block. Then Tony closes the seam there as Hill's able to go straight over without worrying about the seam. So they saw angle, they pressed angle and got that block. And that was the same thing again. Hill's able to release that seam to the pen blocker and then press over. So the important part of that was uh, to have an ice sequence, to know who your primary hitter is, uh, drag to a certain spot where it makes it easier for you to close to the pen, especially if you have a stronger hitter that you're trying to stop. On the board, they talk through these things, but the important part is really reading the setter when she sets. If you can read where the setter's going, all eyes are on the setter, and then make your moves from there, that will really help. Thank you.